Hey everybody. So I am in Baltimore. We came up here to hang out with our good friends, Dr. Mike and Dee Dee uh, Freeman for their church anniversary, but we're getting some family time in right now. So I'm so excited because I'm picking up my nephew from school. This is his school. He goes to Montessori. Here's my sister. We're trying to find Caleb. Oh, this is Caleb's aunt, Joy. Hey, how are you? She's here from out of town. So. He, he bashed that today. No, did he? Okay, hey, okay, cool. Hey, brother. Hey, Dr. Spiller. Okay, awesome. So, hey, Okay. So, these are, this okay, is his. Last week, so this is the first week he's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay, great. Sister. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay, so we need to find Caleb. <laughs> he's across the street. He's across the street. <laughs> Honey, these the schools, yeah, honey. Okay, thank you. These schools right here. See, this a, I want all our people to be able to send me cheering to the school of choice. I can't wait for y'all to uh, meet Caleb. Honey, he is something else. He did a debate. Um, he was in a debate club over the summer. That thing was crazy. So, Janetta, tell them about the debate club while we're looking for Caleb. Um, the one he went to oh, yeah. um, at the college. Yeah. What, yeah. what college was that? So, Wait a minute. Caleb is what? 10? 12. Jeez! <laughs> Jeez! My yes. baby is 12! 12. 12. Lord! Yeah, last year before he's going to be a teen. Ew. Oh, wow. Lord! That seems crazy, right? Girl! I know. I cannot. I know. Okay, so Kayla went to what was the name of the school? Villanova University in Pennsylvania. Okay. And he stayed overnight in the dorms, and every day they had debates, and he had. Oh, my sister looked like me with her pretty <laughs> self. Thank you. He did teams. what? They um debated, so they got on teams and they had to debate various issues. Um, but I loved it because they made him do all his own laundry. He was like <laughs> living on campus. Like, like they were like, he had his everything, like he had his little milk card and everything. And so he literally got to have the college experience. That's so good. But debate amongst the top debaters on various issues and they critiqued each other. And then but the, the thing I wanted like, to know, was it anybody in there that looked like us? <laughs> Girl, we changing that. Uh, no. no, I don't think. Was there seriously? Was there not one African American? <laughs> like no, right? Girl. Seriously, like, so they were like all other other like cultures. Asian and, and Indian and oh, hola, this is the Miss Senorita. And you're scared. Is that her teacher? Hola, hola, <laughs> hola, hola Caleb. Senorita. Right Where's Caleb? Come on, Bien, bien, gracias. <laughs> That's, uh, that, that's his Spanish teacher. No. Uh, it's Hola. It's mi hermana. Hola. Hey. Hola. Hey. Hey. How are you, señorita? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good to meet you. Oh, you look like twins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good to meet okay. you. Good to meet you, too. Thank you. Spanish. Yeah, because you, you can have a full conversation now. Yeah. Because you're in your second year. Yeah. I'm actually Girl. teaching an all Spanish class in Puerto Rico in what? three weeks. You're yeah. teaching I'm it? Teach it. I know. What the yeah, heck I'm is gonna going go on? I'm going to go for it. That is all amazing. Spanish. All Spanish. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. I got to figure it out. I got to get it on my schedule. Because it's such a beautiful look. Where's Caleb? Where's Caleb? Right here in the green shirt. You want to see him in there? Lord. Let's see what Caber is doing. Hey, there's my Caleb. Look at him. Look. 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 Lord, a little long self. <laughs> so I can't wait to hear about his business that he's doing here yeah, at school, well, right? School. They have a, a um, student-run business, and Caleb is, I think he, he's second in command. That's all he really cared about. He's like, uh, no, who is the person in charge of all of it? I say, Caleb. Ah! So first of all, it's not about that. you got to make sure that you pick a role that you like. He's like, I just want to be in charge. <laughs> 
forgot his title, but he's second in charge because the other boy is like a great older man. Oh, that's another older. black man? He, is his he, children I know. Uh, he um, works oh, here. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least they got black teachers. No, he's been here for 30 years. He's actually oh, really? One of the, his longest standing um, employees here, yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, but. Um, so, does Caleb, Caleb get a chance to interact with him? No. Does he have any like other. Ones. Does he have any other, like, teachers that. Um, our other ethnicities, not. but at least he sees him. Yeah, that, and he which knows is he's important. here. Yeah, that's so important. that's like, that's mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. So, oh wow! So his school is amazing. Let me show some of this right here. So this is Montessori right here. Really, really prestigious school here in Baltimore. Yeah. You know what? It's interesting because you know, kind of my whole thing. This is why I want our people, um, our community, and I love everybody. Let's just be clear. But I'm just ready to see more diversity within institutions that cultivate global thinking, global learning, um, you know, challenging them in their social skills, how they interact, how they solve problems. And the reality is that all that stuff costs money um, because your tuition is like a college. Um, uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say the T word. <laughs> Two in college and this one. It's all three in college, my mind. All three. God is able. But Ooh. the Lord is good. He's all right. The Lord is He's good. All right. So what would you say is like why do you think this is important for us to maybe raise the bar and to put ourselves in position to be able to develop well so that we can invest back in our children like this? Um, because of course everybody's not able and you didn't start off this way, mm-hmm. you know, you at one point, we're on food stamps and... All of them. All, <laughs> <laughs> all the stamps. Hi, bit. Tishy. There's my baby. Tishy's all here. Hi, Tish. It's a beautiful baby. Hey, honey. Oh, Miss yeah. Clyda. Oh. Are you guys still at the Atlanta house? Next thing I know, I got me in college, too. I know, honey. I know. Honey, so I, know. I gotta get down there. So, seriously, though, what would you say? Because um, this Montessori school is like college tuition for mm-hmm. most. What oh. would you just kind of say? Like, what's first of all, did you see a difference? Because there was a time where you had Caleb in public school. Oh my gosh, he'll tell you. Ask Caleb, he'd be more than happy. <laughs> he said, Mom, thank you so much for taking me out that public school. He'll say it in a heartbeat. Um, total, total difference. Um, gosh, what's the big I think the word freedom comes to mind. I think that in public school, it's so cookie cutter, like. All kids have to do it a certain way, learn a certain way. And a lot of times what makes private schools um, different is they think outside. See, like Harvard. The reason Harvard is a research school, it makes you think and right. learn to, you know, come up with solutions. Right. And that's the same and way. And find resources. The, resources. You, you learn to be resourceful. Yes, yes, yes. And pull out that greatness in you. I mean, you, you know, just natural born leaders. I mean, and so I think that's the biggest thing is um, it gives you options. It gives you choices. It exposes you. And it totally has bought out the best in him. He's like almost a completely different child. Well, and I also, I like the fact that they don't have a set schedule. No, it's like college. So he knows what he has to do. He's responsible for uh, getting his, <laughs> I'm laughing because today I said, Caleb. Because they say don't do his homework. Like, I don't help him with his homework, which is <laughs> really freeing for me. I really love that. <laughs> I love that. Like, but I'm just, at, I'm just checking in. Like, you did your work, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah. he's responsible for getting the assignments done and what he wants to do as long as he does it. And so it's, it's really quite uh, amazing. Really. Oh, there's a black lady on campus. Yeah, she works in the um, early childhood. Oh, that's real good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's good. definitely black people around security right. and then you know the um early childhood teachers yeah mostly. but yeah. you know a lot of times i mean yeah. the times we were in private school it was you really didn't see any representation of any other culture there was no mm. cultural diversity no very little if any but yeah. i think for the most part there weren't so like caleb and then caleb is responsible for getting his own schedule done but then he's also responsible for <laughs> and washing his own clothes they tell you do not wash their clothes out and listen hey <laughs> They say don't wash his clothes. I make him cook once a week. Like they want them to contribute to the household and be responsible. They yeah. say if he doesn't wash his clothes, let him come to school stinky. The kids are telling me he won't do it again. I said, all right then. Right. That was, that was a stretch the, for me. Right. Because you'd be like, like boy, why did you take a bath? You put some deodorant. They said, don't say nothing. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Right. But nobody can get you like those kids. Like, nobody like your kids. Like, What's that smell? You, right. You have never done Right. You have never. You take a bath. better than mom telling you a million yes. times. So. so do you feel like he's taking showers now more oh, yeah. because no, of he's it? Oh, good now. Yeah. Oh, my buddy. Oh, yeah, because I used to come up here and be like, boy, get yourself yes, in that Kayla. shower. Hey, oh, Waylop. Okay. Oh, he got his jersey. Yeah. Where is he going now? Caleb, oh, auntie has to go. <laughs> Talking about I know. Hold on. <laughs> so, the other thing is, he also is responsible for um, collabing yes. with other, like, students. Yeah. I mean, they are all about response. Like, for example, he had a doctor's appointment because he broke his toe. Did you know that? Girl, yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, like, just a follow-up. He's all baby. good. Um, so they, the teacher said he emails us and tells us of his appointment. Now you Ooh, send them good, back good. it up, but he's responsible for communicating that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that like, is so good. Hi, Kayla. Because you're used to babying them. Yep. Kayla, Auntie is so glad to see you. Hi. You're so adored. <laughs> what do you say? Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, Caleb, hey, Kathy. Caleb, like, tell me the difference between what do you think is the difference between when you're like public school? Versus private school. You know, there's a lot. I mean, she's been ready. A lot of things are different. One, freedom. That's the word I said. That's just what you said. Wow. So wow. when you say freedom, like how? Freedom where opportunities. That's what I mean. I mean, you have opportunities to go around and explore. Um, next Tuesday, we're going to this dairy farm because we're doing a humanities lesson. We're just doing a random trip because we're just doing a humanities lesson. Like, you know, why don't we go to a day farm, you know? <laughs> Opportunities like that. Um, so you, so that wasn't already planned? The students came together and said, hey, this is a humanity lesson we have, and we want to go to the dairy farm to kind of put the experience with what we're studying? Speaking of students, um, if you want to, you can say, um, can I go to, let's say, Johns Hopkins? And you're like, why? Hospital, that's the renowned John hospital. Hopkins hospital, like, why? For research, they'll let you go. Public, public school, they won't do that. But I would think this is only Green Spring that does that, so all those people watching this, I recommend you go to this school, Green Spring Monastery. Tell Auntie that's about the awesome. um, position you have in the business that you all run. Yeah. Well, we had a set, we had a, a setback. Uh, we had a failed day. The first time we did it, first week, we, um, uh, Wait, what's your position in it? Accounting. I'm the assistant manager. Next year, I'm going to be the manager of finance of the money. Okay, you're going to be over the money, baby. You better do that, nephew. Ah! Yes, auntie. <laughs> yes, baby. Auntie's not and saying she has the, favorites, but I'm Yes, gonna say. honey. And the Lord said he, he said he raised you up to be a good steward at, at an early age. Huh? <laughs> Come on here. <laughs> People out here like my children going to Montessori, <laughs> my grandkids. I know that's right, y'all. So tell, tell them, you Caleb. So what are you doing in the business? Thank you. Um, so he's like, thank you, thank you. So um, I, if they ask me, uh, can we get a trampoline? I'm like, for what? Basically. So you have to manage the money and decide so, yeah. where it, what happens. With so it. Okay. I get to decide. Well, I don't get to decide, but I, well, yeah, I guess if you want something, you have to ask me first. And I, or, or or the manager, you can ask the sister or the manager. I'm going to be the manager next year. But you can ask me or him, and I want to say, I'm going to ask you what it's for. They say, oh, yeah. If I, I mean, they tell me what it's for. I say, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, you can get that. Basically, I decide how much you have. I decide how much you spend. And Yeah, so you determine what, you determine what the budget is, and then you determine if this is something that you feel like that you guys even need for the business. Yeah. So this is great because these kinds of experiences are teaching you how to manage your own businesses. And don't you have to buy products? You have to research where you're going to get the products and you guys are, what are you guys selling? Uh, so <clears throat> we're going to be selling pizza. That's for the members of the community. Oh, wow. We're going to be selling eggs. Fruit. Oh, wow. From the chicken coop. From the chicken yeah, they have chickens. Oh, we're going to be have to selling manage. cleaning products. Where you work? Oh, you guys have chickens at the school? Yeah, we make our own cleaning products. We you make, make your own cleaning we products? Own. Yeah, I mean. You make them? Yeah. You making your own cleaning products? And they have to figure out pricing. Pricing. What the heck? Yeah. So where do you get the materials? 
Amazon. They go on Amazon. They have oh, the you go on Amazon. 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 do nothing. For example, we buy cocoa butter, vinegar, um, and all, and etc. And then we mix it up and we test it and see if this smells good. And for Grand Friends Day, we're gonna sell it for the grand when the grandparents, oh, the grandparents come. We're gonna come. Sell it to the grandparents. Oh my gosh, that is.